was just telling me about his car telephone. Oh, he has one. He must. I, I don't have a car telephone. I didn't think he was the type. Yeah, I don't, why not? I don't though? drive. I don't drive. I don't actually have a car. So. What, do you got like a driver? Uh, I have, yeah, my wife does the driving. Oh, really? Otherwise, I stay in. What if she's not around and you got to get some? I have to stay in. Really? Mm. I don't. Uh, I don't know about that. That's sort of. I always wonder about people like who live in New York and never learn to drive. Well, that's that sort of eccentric thing because he's out in the out back somewhere. He needs to drive. Like I know a lot of people who refuse to drive. Like my mother had this friend who never would drive anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then sort of like she always ended up giving her rides and stuff all over the. place. I always wonder about people who never learn to drive. <laughs> it's like a, it's sort of like. And then you got to depend on other people, and it's well, you do and you don't. I mean, it's uh, it's nice to have uh, to be deprived of, of mobility sometimes. Good for the spirit. Is it? And anyway, my uh, he's a I, I, my my studio is literally you know just right there, right there. So I don't need to go anywhere. There's no reason for you to be driving. No, if I go anywhere, it's only to the airport to catch a plane somewhere else. So. Hmm. I don't get driven very often. I don't need to go anywhere. What a great life. You don't go out to a movie every once in a while? No, no. We, they, they, well, they, they come in, don't they, in this wonderful day of... A video. Of video recorders. Uh -huh. we, we were way ahead of you, weren't we? In yeah. Britain. I mean, we were great consumers of the of the videotape and and the uh, all the hardware to go... You were ahead of us? Yeah. God, yes. I mean, I hate when uh, people capital. from Europe tell us they were ahead of us. It, I, I'm still like one of those Americans that like Who refuses to, be to believe. First, yeah. yeah, and I believe that we are first. Of course, we were ahead of you. We we ditched Joan Rivers' show long before you did. <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's right. They ditched her first. Yeah, they ditched her like right away. They put her on for a week and ditched her. <laughs> no, she actually she actually ran. I think something like seven or eight weeks. Yeah. Hey, who's going to be the replacement for Joan Rivers? Me. Look, hey. You don't believe me? I don't think I can go back there. <laughs> Face this. Wait a second. Let me read this. Hey, if you're going to get a car Wait, telephone... Just, what is that you're smoking? Uh, no. Reefer? No. No, he just rolled, rolled a reefer. cigarette. Out of no, pipe tobacco. Out of pipe tobacco because... I've been told that my pipe offends people. So, so I, I the same tobacco rolled in a piece of, you know, disgusting white paper. Are and you going to inhale smoke, that? I can smoke it on airplanes and recording studios and people. And nobody think, bothers okay, you. It's just a cigarette. You're going to inhale it? No, no, no. I can't inhale this stuff. Kill you. You're living such a great life. I'm what are you doing? You why, why are you smoking, man? You're living such a great <laughs> life. Really, Ian? Come on, man. You don't need you're to sitting here, you're I'm not amongst. Us I'm not how? in one of these rooms where everybody is. Oh, I gave up smoking two weeks ago. Yeah, I used to smoke <laughs> two and a half packs. Yeah. Oh God, here they go. You could give up. Really? I mean, if you care so much about other people, care about yourself too. Yeah, you know, you're just trashing <laughs> I don't yourself. Believe I'm. You know, we this. care about you, man. Howard Stern. <laughs> You've written so many great songs, and I care about you. You know, I don't mind if the dirtbags in our audience smoke. I'm hoping they die. I mean, some of them really deserve to, but it's not you. I'll go ahead and smoke if I care. Oh dear, you can't help some people. You know, no. you think with that elevated mind, yeah. he would have come to the realization that his body is a temple. By but now. it still, it shows that he still succumbs to the baser yeah. animal instincts. Yeah. You know, he's he's man against himself. I always thought of you as above all of that. That's extraordinary. I would have thought I would have thought you thought that I was the kind of person who would, you know, be drinking bottles of beer left, right, and nah. center. And, I figure you're too creative. And... That's John, my friend over there. I picture yeah. him doing that. You get a straight roll here. Yeah. Hey, but seriously, get a car telephone. All you have to do is dial 1-800-MOBILE-TEL. Leave the last tell off because it just doesn't fit in. 1-800-MOBILE-TEL. And you will get a car telephone, seriously. And in fact, you can lease one for a dollar a day or just buy one outright. You decide what's better. Yeah, a dollar a day is better than we can do in Britain. It costs a lot more money there. And doesn't that paper on those cigarettes stick to your lips? Mm -hmm. And like tear your lips? But it's nice. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> tear your lips. That. You lubricate your lips before you begin. <clears throat> Pipe tobacco does smell good, though. Oh, no. I love the smell of it. It does. That is the great thing. I mean, this wonderful, wonderful smell. Until you set fire to it, then it turns then into this it turns old awful. mattress. Yeah. yeah. I hate the smell of burning tobacco. 1 800 Mobile Tell. Well, I've always maintained that pipes are a homosexual thing anyway. Cigars. Cigars and pipes. Pipes, too? Yeah, because think about it for a second. 
And I'm not saying you're homosexual, and you're nothing like that. <laughs> Man, I know you're not. I know you haven't even had a homosexual experience. I've asked you that. Before. You He's have, a... and I told you that I. that's one of the sad things in my life. No one has ever made a pass at me. Oh, me too. Well, is... we could get somebody in here. Well, we've got several people <laughs> that we know. Most of them, of course, work over at the TV show. But... <laughs> anyway, I... Uh... <laughs> I... I... Ay, ay, ay. No, the, the cigar and pipe thing, think about it. The smell repels women. Right? Some women like pipe tobacco. Yeah. They like the smell of a pipe. They are the ones who always say, oh, wow, I love that smell. What oh, are you really? Smoking? Oh, okay. It's they're, they're the women who go crazy for it. Well, there goes that theory. Uh, see, I told you it was cigar. 1-800-MOBILE-TEL. I'm telling you, you can trust these guys. And they'll put the uh, car phone in anywhere you want it. They don't even have to come to your house. They can do it at your business or wherever. So don't, so don't be a pain in the neck. So anyway, there's something I wanted to ask you. It just dawned on me that was actually a serious ad you were doing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was just the usual... Uh, it passage. just dawned on the audience, too, I think. Yeah. And I'm glad to see you're not on some other radio stations either. I'm 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 not here officially on business. I'm just stopping in. You said to me, if you remember, when you're in town, stop by and say. Hey man, I'm not complaining. And I took it seriously. Man, I'm not I, complaining. I, was, I was fool enough to take this seriously, and here what? I am. What? Hey, let's cool. get the guitar out. Play one of your new songs for us. The guitar. I, I'm. You know, I'm not a guitar player. Yes, you are. Anyway, Don't be where so I have to be, where I have, the other thing I have to do. But I mean, this is this may sound tacky. How? Yeah, go ahead. This may sound tacky. I have to be at Macy's later today, <laughs> promoting what? promoting Salmon? my fish. Yeah. <laughs> really? And that that is. I know there was a reason thing. you were here. Yeah, that that is a very weird thing for me to be doing because I feel unbelievably embarrassed about having to stand at the fish counter yeah. stopping this poor little Jewish lady who That's goes right. in there every Wednesday to buy or whatever it is, Thursday to buy her fish and she's going to be getting nowhere near the fish counter for all these people who are going to be standing there with copies of our records asking for autographs who have no intention obviously of buying any smoked salmon. Not this is going to be cool. How come I haven't seen any publicity on this? Well, I'm glad. I'm well. I'm glad. I believe that Macy's have, in fact, advertised my presence. They have. Um, Not uh, on this show. They haven't. I think they think they're too good for this show, Macy's. Uh -huh. I think they're one of those people that think that, that well, I'm a little too low brow. But meanwhile, my whole audience shops there. Even I shop there. Well, I'm not anymore. I'm boycotting. That's it. I'm not going to see you, Ian. That's it. <laughs> that that, was, well, you a much, go that was a much better plug for Macy's than the car phone thing was. <laughs> That's I mean, that, right. And they didn't even have to pay for that. If I'm not going, everyone else will. No, but I'd go to see you, man. Yeah, out of context, I imagine it, I must look pretty silly. It, it, believe me, I'm embarrassed about having to go there. But Don't be embarrassed. You'll well, be fine. Well, why did you sign up to do something like that? Because it's... Uh, you know, if you're, if, you're, if you're in business selling something to somebody and they want you to come and promote, it's like him having to do car telephones on the air. <laughs> right, right, exactly. It's, you have, you have to. In other words, you're a whore and I'm a whore, and you're right. We got to be whores in this business. <laughs> mm -hmm. And plus, you got people working for you, depend on you to go promote this stuff. Now oh, you're giving your that's right. That's the line that's I was right. I'm, I, I take it you meant that seriously. I do. All these people surrounding you who depend upon your wit, wisdom, and. Uh, Suave ability to keep the thing rolling. That's uh, you take it just as seriously as I do. So, I what time will you be at Macy's? Uh, well, I, uh, after this, I mean, I shall go back to my hotel, climb into my kilt. Yeah. Oh, did I say that? Yes, I am actually going to be wearing you're full gonna, Highland dress. No, you're, you're not. Be in a kilt? I am. Yeah. yeah. I nearly wore you're it here. You're really but I, going for no, it. I, I thought. Uh, I no thought kidding. You might give me a hard time. So. But you're going to be talking about your old ladies. You want your. What your you fans are gonna. You got to make sure your fans know about this so they can come out and see you. I, I gather quite a few of them do. Yeah. Um, Good. Ian Anderson today at Macy's. What time? Oh, I'll be there about eleven thirty-ish. Oh, super. But what does he wear under his kilt? Panties. What else? No, I didn't think they did. What do you wear? Nothing. No, you wear it, underwear. It depends if there's an hour in the month. Yeah. <laughs> Let's <laughs> check. Want to take some phone calls from your fans? Why not?